Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. Today in this video, let's understand what is test plan and what are the components of test plan. And from interview perspective, it is one of the most important thing that everyone should know. Uh, let's begin. A test plan refers to a detailed document that catalogs the test strategy, objectives, schedule, estimations, deadlines and the resources required for completing the particular project. And it majorly helps in identifying the scope of testing, schedule, test deliverables, release criteria, risk and contingencies. So these are the major things that it helps to identify um, from project perspective. So then why it is important to create a test plan then? The test plan keeps track of possible tests that will be run on system after coding. The test plan is a document that develops as a, the project is being developed. Spots out um, test error prone parts of the software development. Test plan ensures all functional and design uh, requirements are implemented as specified in the documentation and it serves as a valuable record of what testing has been done. Um, and now let's understand what are the components of a test plan and these components differ from one organization to another organization. In a specific organization they would go with some um, default or else some predefined set of template. So it all depends on the organization. Let's understand what are the components generally a test plan contains. First would be the test plan identification. A unique identifier is to be allocated so that the test plan document can be distinguished from all other documents. Basically example, uh, some of the companies follow particular template where a release will be, it is used, you know, uh, by the release ID, it can be identified. The per particular plan can be identified. And next is brief introduction. A summary of the software to be tested. A brief description and history may be included to set the context. References to other relevant documents useful for understanding the test plan are appropriate. Definitions of unfamiliar terms may be included. So next is items to be tested. So majorly a comprehensive list of software items that are to be tested is to be tested and documented. Those will be listed as part of the test plan. It is the list of the software application areas that is the objective of testing. And the fourth is features to be tested. So it includes a comprehensive list of characteristics of all the items that are needs to be tested. These include functionality, performance, security, portability, usability, and etc. These are the major things that needs to be tested. Features that not to be tested. This identifies the characteristic of item that need not to be covered under our testing effort along with a brief outline of reason of not doing so. So there are certain features that might be excluded. Those will be listed in this particular uh, features that are not being tested. Approach of testing. It covers the overall approach to testing that will ensure that all items and their features will be adequately tested. Acceptance criteria. It describes the criteria for determining whether each test item has passed or failed during the testing. Suspension criteria and resumption requirements. It describes different condition under which testing will be suspended and the subsequent condition under which testing will be resumed. Test deliverables. It describes the document, uh, documents expected to be created as part of the testing process. Might be the test results or test cases. These are all the test deliverables. Testing task. It describes set of tasks required to perform the testing. 
Environmental requirement. It specifies the environment required to perform other testing including the hardware, software, communications, facilities, tools, people, etc. Responsibilities Identifies the individual or group of people responsible for executing the testing related tasks. Manpower and training needs Specifies the number and types of person required to perform testing including the skills needed. Schedule of testing Defines the important key milestone and the dates in the testing process. Risk and contingencies Identifies high risk assumptions of the testing plan. Specifies prevention and mitigation plans for each one of them. Approval responsibility It defines the names and the title of every individual who must approve the plan. These are the major components that are included as part of the test plan and as I have mentioned it differs from one organization to another organization. The template you might uh, you can go and check in your com respective company how the uh, test plan is being designed. This is all about the test plan and the components of test plan. If you like this video, please do like the video, hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. Bye bye.